in this tutorial we're going to cover how to progress our initial massing concept. Okay, so two things to consider. We need to start generating some walls and you can see we've got some walls that we need to generate and we need to start cutting out some material, putting a, a glass roof over here for example and how that would work and then some finer details. Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to cover making the walls and then creating the openings for the windows and then making the windows as well. So generating the walls themselves and then integrating the roof and the walls together. Okay, so let's just go and have a look at our design. So two things to bear in mind. I need to punch a hole in the roof. Okay, I've got to put a glass cover over here. You can see there's a glass roof. Um, this is not a great detail in my opinion. However, the glass will have to run through to the back somehow, so that, that will need to be tackled somehow. So that's something that I'll need to focus on. And then how these, op these open, so this will be like a, a sliding stacking door, for example. But how this would open, and then just how these windows would work. Okay, so we're going to generate the same type of detail. I'm going to show you how to do that. So it's very basic inside. Okay, what a cabin should be. Okay, so this is first look at tackling the walls. How are we going to tackle the walls? Okay. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. We're going to call it walls. Okay, call this walls and we're going to make this our active layer. I'm going to grab this mass. I'm going to copy and paste it. So grab the mass itself. I'll do this individually, so let's just grab this one first, edit, copy, and then paste, file, edit, paste in place. Now that object I'm going to turn into construction, into walls, and then activate it, select everything, and then change all of that to walls as well. Okay, so what this allows, allows me to do is actually switch off the construction layer for now. Okay, so what I'm left with is all my walls. Unfortunately, they'll see if there's some stuff that hasn't quite... Um, so I'm going to switch everything back on again. Let's select everything again. Just make sure it's all walls. Okay, now you can switch off your construction layer. Okay, for switch off construction, okay, it won't. So let's just bring construction back on. Um, and then switch off the walls layer. Okay, just so that we've got our base. Okay, that should not have done that. So my apologies, let me just do that again. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy, just make sure this, okay, and I wanted this too. Okay, okay, so that's what's written wrong. Uh, construction, make sure everything's construction. Okay, let's make sure, delete, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this, edit, copy, and then we can hide this one, edit, paste in place, select everything, control A, so make sure all of this is on the walls layer, walls, okay, and make sure the object itself is also on walls. Okay, so we can switch walls off now, that should disappear, edit, and we can simply unhide, unhide all. Okay, oh yeah, in this plane we can also hide. Okay, we that we can hide for now. Tip back, we don't need that anymore. Okay, so we've got our, our massing. Okay, good. Now, I'm gonna switch my construction layer off. Select walls, switch this off. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to now start generating my walls. I don't need the roof anymore. I can delete this information, erase this. Okay, good. All right, so what I need to do is work out how much I need to offset the walls by. Okay, now I've just taken my tape measure very quickly. Let's just have a quick measure. So it looks like over here, I'm going to make that 150. And then this wall I'll make to... 
250. Okay, so here we've got a 250 wall, and here it goes back to a 150 wall again. Yeah, so that's a 150 wall, this is a 250 wall. Okay, and then this structure as we come in, that's also 250. Okay, so here we've got a 250 wall, we've got another wall here in the middle. But yeah, let's just start. I'm going to offset everything by 150. So you can use the offset tool. And I'm going to select. So what I can also do is I can actually delete. We can actually delete all of these walls here as well. But I can actually just select this object. And I can use the offset tool. Select an edge and go 150. Okay. Good. Technically, I don't need this anymore. And I can remove this from a group for the time being. It doesn't have to be in the group anymore. And I can get rid of this internal face. Okay. So now I've got the line of my walls. Okay, now I just have to pick up these internal walls. But you can see here I might have to do a bit of work. And here I might have to move this wall a bit. Okay, so that's something I can work on now. Okay, so I'm going to ungroup this for the time being. Explode. Because I'll regroup this as I start making up the walls and as I need as I need them. Okay. So this wall, I'm going to offset from there to 50. Okay. Here I'm going to take a measurement from here to here. And I'm going to try and round that dimension as well. So 2, 1, 2, 100. That's fine. And then offset this by 150. Okay. That looks slightly thinner. So I think I'm going to make that 100. Okay, it's a typical stud wall, for example. So that works well. Um, yeah, let's grab this line over here. Doesn't matter which wall you grab. Yeah, I just want to make this a round dimension as well. Try and work with rounded dimensions, 750, and then offset 100. Okay, here's a door. So here's a little storeroom, for example. Let's grab this wall over here. Again, just make it 1300. Offset 100. Likewise here. Let's pull this up to here. 950. 100. Here we can also pull this past. 150. There's some sort of detail that will happen here. And then this line. Let's take this line to the same. So that, let's make it 1700. 700 and then come back 100 100 okay good all right so I've got some basic outlines of a wall here so I can just go and add some more detail likewise 1550 and then offset 100 okay so that's all looking good let's grab this line over here 6000 Offset 150. Okay, this is slightly different. This is like an exterior wall, but I think it stops here and it'll meet with. So the wall actually goes straight. See the wall straightens there and then kicks back there. And then this wall we can simply kick back. And this will start in line with that. So this one I'm going to pull right into that line there and come back 150. 150. Okay. Right. So now we've got some. Construction lines in which we can use to. Okay, simply all I do now is to start. Okay, that, let's just get that line as well. One last measurement. So the door comes at a certain angle here. So let's just see that. One nine, one nine eight oh, one nine eight oh. Come back. One fifty. Okay, all right. Now I can just simply. Start drafting in. Okay, so that's a one wall. Let's just follow this to that point there and follow it back over here. This door will make work because that door will have a certain type of detail. That's good. Come back into here. Okay, 
good. This will come back to here, back to here. Okay, then quite snap, so that we'll have to address. Uh, that does go back to there. Let's be careful. Use the erase tool. This one. And it doesn't, you can delete that construction line as well, not required. Back to here. Here. Okay, I'm not going to finish this off because technically, that will do that. And then here, I just need to draw one more line from there to there. Okay, so I've got most of the internal walls that are required. Okay, so I can simply go and erase all of these, get rid of those. Okay, because technically we don't need a lot of these anymore, because now that we've established our wall, I can leave that in place. Okay, then I can simply just erase this, erase this. Because now all that I need is this shape and I can extrude this all up. Yeah, just clean up these connections. And we've got the door. Let's close that up. Okay, I need to fix it up and I'll explain. I'll quickly sort that out very there. Sort that area out, but the rest is looking good. Here has a little connection as well. Excellent, excellent. Okay. All right, here. So technically, this will go offset from there, 250, 250. Good. And then I'm just going to draw a line from here. It'll try and close this whole face in again, but that's fine. So let's erase this. Erase all of this information. Okay, and then I can just simply get rid of that and delete that. Okay, good. Okay, so this is going to be an opening over here, judging with a column. Okay, so that's going to be quite a nice detail to do. But for now, I just want to pull my walls up and get my roof sorted out in line with this wall. Okay, all right, so I'm going to make everything a group, make group, and I'm simply going to go in here and pull, pull all of this up. Okay, so now I'm going to use this information to intersect with my roof. I'm going to bring back my construction layer quickly. Now, in my construction layer, I'm going to select the roofs, control C. Okay, I'm going to open up my walls layer and then switch this double click in here. And then I'm going to go to edit, paste in place. With everything selected, I'm going to change that to walls for now. You can change it to roof later on, but for now we're going to use this as an object to cut away these walls. So I can switch off everything else again. This time I can switch everything off. Okay, now I've got X-ray mode enabled. So what I'm going to do here, this is going to work slightly differently. I'm going to copy this roof down. So in essence, this roof, let's just do an offset on this facade here. So double click, activate the group. I'm going to select this. Here we're going to do some cutting, but that's fine. Here I'm going to select this roof and I'm going to copy it down. I'm going to copy it down parallel. So center this roof is 150 thick as well. So technically, I have to move this whole roof down. So I'm going to grab everything again. Grab that and that face. And I'm going to copy this face down. I'm going to copy this face down. So I'm going to say move. Grab the side here and control. Hold control down. And I'm going to copy it down. Okay. But just remember by doing so, if I switch off this, you can have reverse faces here. So let's just double click this group, activate this and um, reverse faces. Okay, now your building might be slightly different and this is something that I've shown the side, but I can put this on a different layer just so that it's on the correct layer. But for now, all I wanna do is select everything in here, control A, and I want to intersect faces with everything. Okay, with selection. All I need to do now, because what it, what it allows me to do, it allows me to cut away the information that's not required. So it's it's a great tool to cut away the information now that is not required. Okay, so you can see very quickly, I can go and clean up. And there's a quicker way to do this. You can simply cross select and delete stuff as well. So you can do this tool as well. This works a lot better than using the race tool.
the erase tool is handy in certain situations. Okay. So here I'm just going to start erasing. So here you're going to use this line weight tool because technically what it's done is it's created a copy inside there which we don't need. Okay. And it'll cut away my ceiling. So what it's done is it's done two jobs for me. It's cut away the stuff I need for my ceiling. Okay. Yeah, from the exterior, but you'll see now once we start applying some materials. Okay, I'm just this tutorial is about just creating the basic shape and concept of your building and getting the majority of the modeling done quickly. The materials and the materiality we will tackle a little bit later, but for now we're just getting getting this neat. Okay, so here we're building up that. You get rid of that. I do need this ridge, so we'll leave the ridge in place. If you do delete stuff internally, it's easy to fix, so don't get don't worry about that too much. That's something that's easily addressed. Okay, but here I'm just getting rid of the detail that's not really required at the moment. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay, here we've got a little upstand, but that's cool. Okay, so now that's take a shape. Get rid of this. Okay, and then here we might have some little detail to address, but that's good. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay, now that's looking, that's starting to look pretty good. Get rid of this guy. Get rid of this guy. Okay. It's looking good it's working well okay and what we can do is we can also get rid of that line from the exterior here i've deleted a line by accident but that's i'll show how easy it is to fix that whoops no way it was in a group okay switch this off so here i've just got to fix this bit of line work over here this does happen from, from time to time so it's easily fixed and you can get rid of these internals we'll use a floor to sort that out okay here, yeah, if you just want to fix this, let's just put a line across here. Oh, geez, get rid of that line. So let's put a line across there from there to there. Let's put another one from there to there. That usually closes up the whole bottom. That's fine. Let's get rid of that for now. Okay, that, that shape we don't. This I'm just going to say intersect faces. So intersect faces with selection. Okay, that's strange. It should have closed that as well. So there's a slight error here somewhere. I'm just undoing. Let me just draw a line across. Sometimes you just got to draw another line along here and then that sorts it out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we've got our walls and our roof in play. Okay, it depends on how your roof works. My roof, if we go to my example, you'll find that there is a very thin line where this would run because it's technically cladded everywhere with um, timber. Okay, so this will probably have a structure inside, but that's something that we'll tackle once we, we go into the detail. And we cut this up. We can use um, another method to kind of illustrate how this is put together. Okay, but this will read as one structure. So technically the roof and the walls will read as one structure. Okay, but that's that we can address from the outside. So here I'm going to erase this line because there will be a neat like uh, fascia or roof line that we can establish, but we're going to do that differently. So I'm just going to erase this quickly. Okay, good. There's a bit of detail line work, so let's just switch this on to see what's going on here. Uh, so that we can get rid of this bit of line work. We can get rid of. Okay, so now we've got a neat roof and wall structure. Okay, so at this, what's neat about this now is if I use a section tool, 
Now we're getting a bit of depth into our model. Okay, let's put this over here. And then if we push this through, move this through. Now we're starting to get some depth into our model. So when we cut this model up and start cutting holes in it, you can see and cutting sections, it'll give us the correct information to work with. Okay. Get rid of that for now. Okay, so now our roof, it's all in, incorporated into one. Okay, but what's interesting, I can grab this edge, I can grab that edge, I can grab that edge. So here's another method I'm going to show you quite quickly. I'm going to grab that edge there, grab that edge. Okay, that edge should be, so something is wrong with this edge. Delete it and see what happens. Okay, there's two edges there, that's why. Okay, let's grab that edge, grab that edge, grab that edge. So what I can do is I can grab these edges and just copy them down by a certain amount. I'm going to copy them down by 50 mil, just so that it creates that roof line that I desire. So grab that line and grab that line. Oops, and use shift. So using your keypads to help you with that. Okay. All right, so we're going to grab our edges, we're going to copy them down. Okay, grab that edge, grab that edge, grab that edge, grab that edge. So you can use Shift and um, Control to unselect and say if I hold Shift and Minus or Shift and Control and Minus, then you can minus an edge and deselect certain objects. Okay. Okay, that's all I need. I'm going to select that. Now, this is quite neat. All you're going to do is you're going to copy this down. So you're going to say, move. I'm going to grab one of these edges, copy, and press Control. And then you're just going to move it down by 50 mil. Okay, that's good enough for now. All right, so you would see it will automatically cut those edges just so that it can give me that detail. Okay. It's just a bit of line work for now. What we could maybe do is we can go and maybe go around there and extrude or get rid of that portion. We can actually use a tool to create an actual line around there. But for now, I'm pretty happy with the results. And what I can do is this object, I can now maybe put in a different layer if I want to. But I think for the sake of this exercise, I'm gonna keep them part and parcel, okay? You can use this on different layers, but the way these things join, I'm not going to separate these. I'll make it part of the walls layer for now. I can actually change this to shell, maybe just to make it read better. But this is just manage your layer so that you can then start managing this information better. We'll add a floor a bit later on, but it's quite easy to add a floor because I'll just simply copy uh, a shape from the walls and use it to create my floors. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is let's just have a look at the openings. Let's just go and see how the windows work. And let's just zoom out. Okay, so these are windows, that's a windows, this are windows. The actual detail of the window we can tackle on tackle a little later. And we can start looking at this detail over here and how this will work. Okay, so let's just tackle that a little bit next. Okay, now we've got our walls in place. Pull our construction back. Okay, now this object, I'm just simply going to grab all this stuff here and convert this to walls. Walls, and grab this information and change that to walls as well. Okay. Once you don't need stuff anymore, you can start getting rid of it. If you've done the bulk, then clear out the stuff that you don't need. And let's just switch my images back on. Layer zero. Okay, this I can see is in the wrong layer. Okay, I'll leave it on layer zero for now. Okay, so here we just need to, here was something very interesting. It just looked like it was a wood store of some description. There were no doors. So there was a mistake. So technically these are just openings. Okay, so let's just go and see how that worked. Okay, so that's fine. So let's just go and see this, how that works. So let's just hide this for now. Hide element, hide. Okay, let's just see. So technically, 
Let's grab that. So this line and this line should be the same in theory. So let's just use let's use that as common sense. So from there, lock it on the red axis. Remember, use your arrow keys to lock it on your axis from there to there. Okay. So this looks like it's 100. Okay, from there to there, and let's just see what this is like. Let's make it 4,000. 4,450. And offset 100. 100. Okay, that's fine, and I'll pull this back 100. And pull this back 100. Okay, that's good. And I'll leave those. I'll make. Okay, so let's just grab. So I'm going to grab this line over here. I'm going to move control divided by three. Okay, so yes, I've got double line work here, but that's fine because these things are easy to delete. So I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay, so now I can bring back that. Um, Hit an object. Hit it. You can go to view. You can sh um, show your hidden geometry, and you can just simply select it and unhard, unhard, hard or uh, see here. Let me just select the block itself and unhard here. There we go. Okay, cool. So for underneath here, this is quite easy. So you could just simply cut this out. Go from there. Uh, activate the group. And here we could just simply, because what's neat is the construction lines stay in play. So here I'm just going to simply cut out the shape very quickly. Come back to here. One done. Go from there to there. To there. To there. Just remember, you can really change the view so you're seeing underneath here. From there to there to there to there. And then one last that open from there to there to there. Okay, so now we can start pulling this up. I'm just going to pull this up a fraction up to there. Now there is a tool that we can use because this is a a, a group. You can go to view, and if you go to um, Hide rest of model. So in component editor, if you say hide rest of model, if I double click on this component, you'll notice that it hides the stuff for me, which is sometimes it's quite ideal. So I'm just going to quickly pull these up and extrude these up. So basically, I'm just using my push pull tool. Now I can finish this command. Here, I'm just going to have a look at and see how hard that would be. But I've got a feeling if I use my tape measure, this should be in a region of, let's just see. Let's make it about 1,800. Yeah, 1, yeah, that will work well for now. There's enough structure about that. Double click in here again. Ah, this one, we need to copy this guy. Control X. I'm just cutting it away. And here, edit, paste in place. Good. Now it's part of my component. From here, I can just push this guy up to here. Done. That up to there, done. That up to there, that up to there, that oh, too far. That from there to there, and then this from there to there. There we go. Okay, good. All right, so that's done. All right, and this is also create a floor plan view. And let's just go and cut this up a bit more, and I'll start saving these. And let's just copy that like that. And then move this up, move this up. Okay, so that's good enough for now. So here I've got a floor plan view. Just remember you can use this tool to hide that and switch it back on. And these, I'm going to put in my section layer. I'm going to make a section layer. So these will go in a layer. New. Make it sections. And I'm going to make sure that goes in the section layers section okay so that goes into section and you can simply 
hard a chair and unhard a chair. Okay, so you can use this tool to hard these objects as well. So here, just remember, you just switch off your sections, or you can deactivate your sections. Okay, so this is the current activated section, so we can use this tool here to view our section or not, and then actually just hide this tool, then you won't see them in any case. But just remember your section will still be activated and work. Okay. All right, so that's starting to work well. I've got this structure built up. Now I'm going to start focusing on cutting the windows in to my project. Okay, these are all windows over here. This is a window. This is going to be a sliding door arrangement. And here we're going to have a door. We'll tackle that a bit later. And here we can have some internal sliding doors. Okay, well this looks like a bathroom. And we can put a sliding door that will slide across here. So we can make some sort of arrangement here. And here we've got a window again. Okay. All right. So I'm going to switch off our sections. I'm going to make sure all those back active and switch on this tool over here. Okay, so let's just go and find this one's easy. So from here, I can actually pull this tool at the bottom here. Let's just get rid of more of these construction lines because technically, don't need those anymore. Don't need those anymore. And I can get rid of all of those. Okay, that's all part and parcel. So let's just grab this one that's here. There is a tool to get rid of all these construction lines straight away. Okay, but as I'm starting to get stuff established, you don't need those construction lines anymore. So I'm just getting rid of the stuff that I don't need. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to start picking up my windows. So from here, so let's pick this facade over here and let's make it part of the group. Yeah, I'm not going to do that for now. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to pull this across here. So along the face, you can lock it on an axis. So provided, oh yeah, see so here the axis isn't correct. So let's just move our axis over here. Let's line it up with this object from there to there to there. Now I can use my tape measure tool and use my axis. Okay, so from there, lock it on X and Y. So from here to there, 900, 900. Okay, from there, lock it on X axis again. From there to there, it looks like it's 1, 800. Okay, that's good. This one, I'm going to lock it again on my red axis and snap it to this point over here. And then I'm going to open up a door. A door is usually 900. It's fine. I'll leave it like that. Okay. There's no opening over here. Uh, there is an opening over here. So here we've got another window. But this looks like it's almost in line with that. I'm going to offset this by 50 mil just because I don't want it interfering with the wall. So this looks like 150 and I will open this. That's fine, 150. And I've got a feeling again that this is another window. Okay. So this looks like there's a door in here. So this looks like it's a bedroom. Here's the lounge, here's the bathroom, and here you come into the place. Okay. Let's just go and have a better look here. Let's have a look inside of the unit. Okay. All right, I've closed those other ones. We'll have a look at them now. Okay. Now let's establish this side of the building. So from here, lock it on the X again. That looks like it's about 280. From there to there, lock on the x-axis again, from there to there, 2, 200, good. On this facade over here, this comes back, this make this one, uh, 200. I'll explain why you don't want to put the window right on the edge, because see, there's some sort of frame that we're going to work with, I lock this on the green axis, and that'll come back to there, 1, 600. Okay, then we'll grab this line over here, and pull this back. to 200. Okay, and then pull this line over here. That goes back to there and make that 900. Yeah, and the 
this. This will be the same. I've got a feeling that this will be the same. So let's grab this over here to here. I'm going to make this one for 80 and make that 900. Okay, so we've established all the openings. I know that these are going to be a big opening here somewhere. Okay, so I know that there's going to be a big opening over here. And there's going to be some sort of detail happening here, but that's something that we'll address a bit differently. Okay, and then we've got a window along here. So let's just grab this. Here we'll lock that on the green axis. 3600. And let's open that up on the green axis to over here, 1800. Okay, good. Okay, so this is starting to work well. Here is a, ah, here is an issue. So that actually opens up 280 and let's pull 280 over here. So that wasn't correct. Lock on the red axis, 280. Okay, so let's erase that. Okay. Okay, so here on our facades, I'm going to leave these open for now. Okay, I'm going to just draw rect rectangles on the face here because I'm going to do some adjustment. So here I'll make these. So here I'm just going to draw some shapes. Okay, so I'm just drawing some shapes for now because I'm going to use my tape measure tool to kind of get this working. So here I'm just going to use this to draw on these faces just so that it starts to make some sense. This looks like a big window over here. Again, here's a window over here, so let's draw a window over here. Okay, let's draw a window over here. This is a door. This will work slightly differently. That's fine for now. I'm just drawing shapes on the facade itself, just so that we can... Okay, I see there's a construction line here. This one I'll do the same. Here right, we need to change our access again. Okay, here I'm going to draw on this. This is slightly different for now, but I'm just going to create the opening for the time being. I can address how this works. So once you punch a hole through, it'll start making a lot more sense. Okay, so these are all just openings that I'm going to adjust before I pull them into my model. Here's another window over here. So that will tackle now. So these ones I can delete. Did delete all of that. Okay, that's all good. That's good. <clears throat> okay, I just need this window. Lock on the green axis. 3600. And this one I'm going to pull along here. Green axis again. 1800. Good. Rectangle. That's fine for now. These windows are fairly low, so we'll just have to see how they work. This is different. We'll open that up differently. And here we've got a window as well. So here we've got a window. Let's pull it in from here. Lock it on. Okay, the axis is different. So here you can use the down key. It'll, it'll lock it on this face, so that is one option. So lock it on the down key. There we go. So here it is going to be 2900. It's a very strange number. And then likewise here, I can just use the offset tool. These can be inaccurate, so just be careful. Okay, now this is I'm going to use an axis over here because this could get dangerous. Use an axis. So let's just use an axis from there. X there, X there. Okay, and now we're just simply going to offset this tool. One hundred. Okay, great. And then just create a rectangle. Okay, so that's a window. Window. This is a door, slightly different window. Window. 
this is a door slightly different and then window. Okay, now we just need to go and establish their heights. Okay, and then we'll punch, punch out the openings. So let's just go to my folder quickly. And let's go look at those windows. So let's just say open. Okay, so that window is fairly high. Okay, but the rest of these windows are at a certain level. This is quite a high window in here. I've got a feeling that is a door. So this is a door over here. That's a window. That's a lower window. So these windows different different heights. So it's creating quite a nice gives you framing viewpoints out in the landscape. For example, okay. So inside you can see that's high and that's slightly higher. That's an actually a door at the end. Okay, here we've got a door at an angle, and then we'll need to establish this type of arrangement. Yeah, but that's easy. That's easy enough to do. Okay. All right. So this is in a kitchen. So let's just take this. Let's tell this window over here. Let's go up. Let's change my access quickly. So using your access tool the whole time. Get used to using a tool. It's very. It's a very powerful tool. So let's drag a tape measure line from there. And we go up. So use your up arrow key. So this window, because you got it in a kitchen environment, I'm going to pull it up to 900. So that's usually a counter height, 900. Then I'll pull this up again, another 900. Or maybe less. So let's just pull this up. Because in a kitchen, you might have um, stuff above. And I'm going to make this 600. All right. Then simply just move this up, grab that arrow, lock an up arrow key, grab this one, move. Okay, so that's that one done. Now in this room over here, one was higher, one was lower. So I've got a feeling that they try to establish the same like kind of low so this was a low view. Maybe when you're sitting down, you want to look out. So that's quite, quite reasonable. So what's neat now is grab this line, move this down, lock it on the axis. Now I can snap it to this one in the background because I want this to match. Move this down, snap it on the, and then you can see in the background, done. Okay, so that's good. This is slightly different. What I'll do here, grab this line over here, Move this down to there. Now, however, this one I'm going to go offset. Here I'm going to go 2000. Okay, so maybe if you're standing in front of that window, move this up. Okay, this one, I noticed that this window was also quite high. So more of a, so this one I'm going to do the same. I'm going to move this up, up to there, and I'm going to drop this quite a lot. Move this down. I'll leave it there. So let's just offset this by 300. 300. I've got a feeling that it's about framing views. What do you want to see out of a bedroom, for example? So Again, this might be in a passage, you want to see a certain view. So what I'll do is I'll pull this down. So let's grab this, move this down, lock it on the Z axis, and then grab this again and move this down, move this down to there. Likewise with this, move up. This window, this, this you might want to view quite a long distance. So I'm going to pull it up to there. And this window, I'm going to pull down, pull down, and I'm going to pull it down to the same level as this one did. Okay, so at least now we've got that to, okay, that's looking good. 
here I'm going to draw lines and this to act activate my walls layer just remember change make sure your walls layer activated so let's double click this information uh, that was construction let's switch off make sure my construction's off grab this line here I know for a fact that this is going to continue straight across and this is going to continue straight across let's switch this off let's just see what I'm dealing with okay good so now this let's change my apologies let's pull this up pull up Let's pull it up to this line over here. Uh, let's top over there. Here you want to see the roof coming back down, but we'll see how it works with our columns. So let's just pull those columns back. Switch this back on, construction. So I might extract that right to the top of that line over there. So let's just pull this from there. And let's look at on our z-axis. I'm going to pull it up to the underside of that. Okay. Switch up construction again and then pull this pull this up. Ah, so you want to de deactivate that command. So here you just want to say component view, untick that. And snap it onto that line there. Okay. Now the last thing we do is we're going to punch out these holes. I'll punch this holes out and I'll, I'll show you exactly what to do there. Here I've got a double surface for example. So let's just grab, I will leave that as a double surface. So let's just grab that, that, that. Just holding down control the whole time. Control that, control that. Uh, and then control this one in the front. Okay, control C or control X, you can cut it out. Double click in this group, activate the group, edit, paste in place, control A, intersect faces with selection. Okay, good. Now, all that we're going to do now is punch out the holes, push, and you'll see it will cut through this model. Okay, so let's just hide that for now. Let's undo that again. Something went wrong there, so I'll see what's going on there. Okay, but this one, push. Grab that, push. Here we go, push. Here we go, push. Okay, there's an area there, push there. There's an area there, push through. Okay, let's just push this back to this face over here. Here we go. Push that back to that face over there. There we go. Push this through. That's good. This one, let's just use wireframe because it'll make more sense and let's push this through to the inside. We'll actually cut it out better. Yeah, this door will do the same, cut it out to there. Okay, this one will do the same, cut it out to the inside. There we go. Okay, so now we've got the beginnings of our building with the openings, etc. Here we'll just need to fix how this detail works. I'll make that look a bit better. This will have a frame around, this will have a door. Okay, we can get rid of this line work in here now because technically we can sort that out, but I'll leave it on for now. Okay, so here we've got the beginnings of our plan. So if we do that and we pull this floor plan up. Now this is what's interesting about floor plans. Sometimes we're gonna have to guess. So let's just show this, uh, show the section layer. Sorry, let's just say show that as well. Yeah. This is typical with a lot of software here. You'll need to find a level at which it cuts through a whole lot of stuff to make a floor plan. So when you look down and we'll draft and put your furniture in. Okay. So here's some sort of internal detail in the door. Here's a kitchen. So we'll do some of the internal modeling. But for now, I've got the beginnings of my building. Okay. I'm just going to give this an offset on this facade over here. So activate the group. I'm going to give this an offset of, let's make this 250. 
that works well. I can switch that section information off for now. I don't want to see it. You can now activate this group, grab that, that corner there, that point, use the up arrow key, lock it on there. Do the same here. Grab this. You can always use this tool over here so you can see inside of what's going on. Then move this up and then lock it on this, this point over here. Okay. So there we've got that opening. We've got this opening. Here we'll need to generate a door. We'll need to cut that in now. That's fine. We can do that quite easily. Um, yeah, this is going to be a slight slightly angled door i would have made the door straight so what i might do is just make the door fit into this this zone over here okay but that i can cut out like i did this section over here but for this exercise i think this is enough information now to kind of build your model up and you can see this is starting to take shape now so there's a lot of information now that we can use here camera perspective so here we can start the rest of the stuff is just components and it's, it's small details that we're adding. We don't have to add too much detail because when we use the process of extracting this information and putting it in a correct, um, here and I'll build a floor up and move everything up. Okay, so here this is starting to take some shape. These are components which are quite good because then these I can just simply add this to the roof layer which we'll do that now we'll add those to the roof layer okay but here we can start actually removing stuff from our construction layer so let's just grab those okay I'll grab all those i'm going to change them all to let's make a new layer i'll call them roof roof okay good make them my, my layer and change these to roof good just open one of these up Select everything, Control A, and here I'm going to make that roof as well. Okay, it just means now if I switch up construction. Okay, so here we've got a nice detail starting to take shape. Okay, and here I can put a glass roof over. Okay, great. So we've got our sections coming into shape. We can start detail getting some of these construction lines. We don't need those anymore. That's part of my model, so just make sure you delete it inside of the model. Okay. All right. Undo. Okay, but that's that for now. Thank you very much.